endless amusement. This is what I love about GTA is, you know, you can be doing the story, it's quite fun, and then you just get bored and you say, you know what, I'm just going to kill a whole fuckload of people. And you do. And you're driving around with this 80s soundtrack blasting out and you're sliding all over the place and you're shooting dudes and it's just great. Get out of the van. Now let's get going. Yes, I am actually quite early in the game still because I haven't bothered to finish it again in a while, but I gave myself some cheating guns and a nice car. But I will not be cheating from here on, I just did that to get started. So I I can only presume you played Vice City because it's it's you know this was my first GTA. It com when I played this for the first time, I'd never... But for one thing, I was far too young to be playing something this violent, which makes it all the better. But I had never considered that a game could be like this. It just completely destroyed my idea of what a game could be. And maybe that sounds overly dramatic, but it really did. It was just so violent and... And the sense of just being able to go anywhere and kill anyone and steal things. and It was like the complete opposite of something like Spyro the Dragon, which I'd been more familiar with. But anyway, you know, in, in certain ways it has not aged well, but things like the car chases will always be fun. I think, you know, these, I'm not as fond of GTA 4. San Andreas either, but GTA 4 in particular, just because it's so serious. I don't like it being serious. I do, I do like you know some of the characters, like like Nico is quite cool, but I appreciate that they're trying to do something different with it, and it did work in that respect. But when I play GTA, I want to be just running over people while having 80s music pounding out the window and shooting fools and all sorts of nonsense which is why I heartily recommend the Saints Row series which I don't think the comedy is as good I don't think you know it doesn't have the same razor sharp satire as GTA but it is very very silly and it kind of continues you know GTA is no longer GTA as far as I'm concerned but Saints Row is kind of it's kind of taken up the torch now I'm gonna stop rambling and start actually doing something. I've turned off the music just because I don't want YouTube to accuse me of trying to steal things and, and sue me and all sorts of nonsense. But I'm kind of surprised I haven't attracted the attention of the police yet. Oh! Oh, I want that moped. I want that moped. Ah, yes. I, I, if I recall, it has an amusing name. Here we go. Out the way. Yeah! Beep beep. Now, uh, what is it? The lack of music is not a problem, however, because whenever I play Vice City, I tend to just have the A-Team theme looping in the background. So I'll just be shooting guys, and all you can hear is da 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 It's great. Now I think it's about time we shot some, some coppers. Come here. Yeah, you never catch me, filth. Ha 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 ha. I am the law. Ah. Protect and serve my arse. There we go. We are in a chase of some sort, except I appear to have lost them. I'll run over some more people. Oh dear. Uh, something I regret. The uh, I played the PS2 version for years and years, and now I have the far superior PC one, naturally. But they, what they never did, that Voice City Stories and Liberty City Stories have never been ported to PC, which I think is a crying shame, because those games are great, especially Voice City Stories, but, you know, they could be so much better on PC. The PS2 versions are fine, and they're on P PSP as well, you know, just for the five people who own the PSP, but whatever. Anyway, let's kill this guy, and I've got two stars now. You'll never catch me on my pathetic moped. This is not going to be a very serious let's play, even by my standards. I'm just trying to see if I can have a rampage. Oh, hey. Come on. There we go, that's more like it. Oh, I want this thing. Oh, it's a good car. 
Ah, die. Die. Ah, get in the car. Get in the car. There we go. Oh, I haven't unlocked the other islands yet. Ah. I like, I think Vice City is of a good size, you know. You get, get if you've ever played the original Just Cause, the, the map is so ridiculously huge. It's, it just takes forever to get anywhere and there's nothing to do most places. But I think Vice City, it's a good size and there's often things to be doing. There could be a few more hills. That's one thing they did in San Andreas was put a few more hills in. But, you know... Oh, I appear to have upended myself. Don't mind that. Oh no! Hey, blo Yay! I've got a shotgun. Oh, there's a man with roller skates. Get him. Get him. Uh, uh, stupid policeman. You'll never take me. <laughs> oh, the police cars are really good. I'm gonna go over this ramp. I'm gonna get. Oh, it's gonna be slow mo greatness. It's like in the A team. Yeah. Oh, I didn't actually go into slow mo, but it usually does. Oh no. No. Get out. Bad. No. Yeah, well, one way in which Vice City has not aged well is that the controls are quite stiff. They're actually a lot worse on the consoles, but even on PC, the controls are kind of stiff and awkward, which is kind of. Saints Row plays a lot better. Even, I don't like the driving in the Saints Row as much, but it feels kind of floaty and weird. But, you know, it's hard to complain about a game where you can hit people with a pimp hand and send them flying. It's also made by the same people as Red Faction, so you have those satchel charges that can blow people up by getting stuck to them. It's just amazing, but it's just Vice City. I'm a big fan of the 80s. You know, 80s music, 80s movies, just everything was bigger and better in the 80s. Not so much games, though. I think games have come a long way since the 80s, but, you know, whatever. You probably couldn't have had Vice City in the 80s, ironically enough. But it's just so great, and in case you haven't noticed, they're sending a chopper after me now. I'm just casually ignoring that. Um, hmm. Oh dear, whoa. I haven't actually been hurt yet, have you noticed? I'm quite good. I don't claim to be good at this. Uh, should I tell you a fun fact? I know a, an interesting glitch. If you get a Sparrow helicopter and fit it in a garage, when it comes out it has wheels. And it's a completely pointless little bug, but that's fun. Now I'm going to get out of the car because I'm sick of running around. Come on. Uh, Die! Oh, ow, 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 no, get, get away, ow! Fucking, ah, no! Ah! Uh, ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, rat, oh no, it's, oh, it's the, it's the buddy cop movie, guys. Hey, you get these, like, secret Miami Vice type bugs. Ah, oh, I've, I've lost quite a lot of tires, that's fine, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I love trying to drive a car which has just lost all its wheels. Just, I cannot underestimate. Oh, oh no, under. Oh, yeah. I cannot overstate just how amazing this game was to me when I played it. Probably about ten years ago now. Wow. But that's the thing. Vice City is ten years old. That's that's depressing. But just you know, I was just so blown away by just how fun it was. It was just nothing I'd played before. And I, I hadn't even grown to love the 80s yet. I wonder if this game actually was a big part of how I came to love the 80s, but, you know, Arnie movies and ridiculous hair and all that. You know, some of it is so bad it's awesome, but uh, uh, some of it is just legitimately awesome. Now, oh, the minigun! Yay! Oh yeah, fucking don't, lads. I'm trying to come back here, helicopter man. Ah, I love blowing their heads off. Do I have a sniper rifle? I do. Oh, ow. Get up. Where are you? No. Ah. Ah, they're, they're, they're coming in. From, they're coming out of the goddamn skies. Blow up the helicopter. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. No. 
No, I reject your your bullets. You think you can kill me with bullets? Go ahead. Uh, take that, Airwolf. Uh, why are you not dying, Airwolf? Oh, Airwolf is going down. Oh, that'll teach you. Okay. I'm quite amazed to survive that. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, we're now on a beach. This is a particularly aimless let's play of mine, even more than usual. Oh, I hate that he gets tired. Oh, hang on, I want to use the... Uh... Yeah, no. Die. Oh, the trying to snipe these guys or whatever. Ah, uh, these, these police are really relentless though. What is he doing? He's like driving all over the place and... Ah ha 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 you're not, you're not taking me. No. 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 Oh. Keep going. Keep going. No, you can escape. Oh, it's like trying to escape from Dune or something. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is one of the little mini games. You can race little cars around. It's quite fun. Yeah, there, there's so much just pointless but cool things like that. So much. So many. Whatever. I don't know. I didn't put much thought into this video. Usually I kind of like to plan them ahead a bit, you know, just come up with basic things I might say. But this one's very just. Oh, let's do it, it'll be fun. That, that was my train of thought. Oh, no, 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 no. Get in the SWAT van, get some armor. If you get in the SWAT vans, they give you armor so you can stay alive. That's a fun trick there. All these sirens are annoying. Ah, out of way. Ah. Okay, I think we're. Oh, God, no. Stupid policey people. Why can you not respect my freedom to shoot people? Anyway. Oh no, I can't go. I keep forgetting I can't go on those islands. Oh, the... but you only unlock the the other island after a certain point in the story, and it's quite fun. It's cool to just suddenly have your entire playground doubled. Yes, you know, I can't believe that in the next GTA it's going to be set in. Uh, is it Los Santos or something? I don't care. I don't care about GTA anymore. I've lost interest. I don't know. I think GTA... I think the fourth one was just so... Uh, tedious. I mean... Uh, I know that's controversial, and I do like it overall, but it was just, there were certain things about it which just felt like real backward steps. I don't know. Especially once I played Saints Row, and it was just so much more... fun and just silly and you could do so much the controls are so much less awkward and annoying it's the whole thing of it but you know I'm gonna try and lose these guys oh no no I, I want to go over a ramp come on let's, let's get some speed up go over uh, the ramp can you blow these up I can't remember you know you know uh, um, I think a precursor to Vice City that I played it wasn't so much a precursor to Vice City as just something I played before I played Vice City that was vaguely similar. Have you ever played Lego Island? Has anyone ever played Lego Island? Or even Lego Island 2, which is quite different, but... I never finished Lego Island 2, I couldn't be bothered. There were a lot of annoying mini-games where you had to hammer a spacebar in order to win a joust with a knight or something. Never mind that. But, ah. Uh... No, no! Oh, come on, flip! Flip it! Flip it! Flip! Use the force! There we go. No, 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 Ooh! I got two wheels double bonus for that. Oh, let's see if we can find a boat. That'll be fun. Any boats around here? No? Well, that sucks. This is my new mission. I'm gonna find a boat. Oh! Ah, god damn it! Ah, no! Uh, oh, this is one durable van. Oh, fuck notes. Ah, ah, I like how I said it was durable and it immediately blew up. 
No. No. Eat minigun. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Swap. Oh, it's a swap four, guys. No. Stupid swap. Bastards. You're in my way, sir. Now I know what I'm doing. I'm taking this crappy car and I'm gonna find a boat. I don't know if this is even a let's play so much as just like play and ramble, but I hope you find it entertaining. I, I'm I'm you know, I'm entertained. I'm playing Vice City. How can I not be entertained? But you know, I do recommend Vice City stories. Though. That's that's very good, even if it is only on the PS2 and the PSP. I know the PS2 version is better. Uh, get in the car. You're so vulnerable outside of a car, because you can just die so easily. That's kind of the thing about Vice City, is just the combat is so flimsy, but the car chases are so fun at the same time. But yes, I'm going over here, and I'm going to find a boat, and we're going to take to the, the oceans. And it is going to be amazing. And, you know, it would be like Jason and the Argonauts. Da, 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 da. That's enough of that. I love the Jason and the Argonauts theme, it's the most plodding thing in the world. Just I see a boat. I'm going to take the boat. No! I mean the boat. How do I get to the boat? I am angry that it will not let me have a boat. Very well. I have a backup plan. Uh, where's that helicopter? It's high above me. Die, airwolf! You will rescue no more Labradors in wells today. I'm not sure what I meant by that. Get in the dam, there we go. Yay! Ooh! <laughs> that was entertaining. Anyway. Oh, it blew up again. That can only be good. Did I get some money for that? Or am I imagining it? We an incredible 80s fashion in this. But yes, while we're talking about the 80s, I would like to recommend some 80s movies. There's Robocop and Total Recall, which I know came out in 1990, but it's very 80s and it was it was filmed in the in the 80s. And uh, Highlander, and basically anything that Arnie made in the 80s, you know. Some of his 70s stuff isn't nearly as interesting. I mean, Hercules in New York is funny. But, you know, that's that's for hardcore Arnie nuts only. Arnie natures, as I like to call them. But, yeah, whoa, hold, oh, god damn it, my spine. Ah, just, just stepping on these hurt you. No, it doesn't. It's kind of weird. Oh, 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 oh no. Ah, uh, oh, I think we may be reaching the end here. Die. Oh, they popped my bubbles. No. I'm not flying through the danger zone, damn it. No. Get in the car. Get in the car. Oh, that was so close. Oh, my tires have gone again. Oh, this is one epic struggle now. I just love trying to see how long you can survive. It's just endless amusement. This is what I love about GTA is, you know, you can be doing the story, it's quite fun, and then you just get bored and you say, you know what, I'm just going to kill a whole fuckload of people. And you do. And you're driving around with this 80s soundtrack blasting out, and you're sliding all over the place, and you're shooting dudes, and it's just great. Get out of the van. No, no, ooh, oh, I accidentally blew it up. But that's fine. No, 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 no. Get in the car. Oh, you. Aha. I hate it when they can arrest you just as you're getting into a car. 
I think they took that out of GTA 4, mercifully. I might be imagining that. In fact, no, maybe they didn't. I might be thinking Saints Row again. I do just so prefer Saints Row. I think it's so much more in the spirit of old-style GTA. I don't know if you mean really old-style. There's like the 2D ones, which, which are, you know, they're entertaining, but... I think, you know, Vice City is going to be hard to top. Because look at it! The 80s! Greatness. Ah. Uh, there's that, there's that another... Look, look, I will show you this. Oh, crap! Ah, oh, no! No! Why? I, I was going to show you something cool, and then I died. Well... Okay. Maybe I'll just drown myself then. Oh. Well, I can't get in there. Well, anyway. This has been Vice City, one of the most awesome games ever made. Essential play for everybody. Of course, I can't imagine you won't have played this by now. Zombie Elvis found. With wind shit. I'm just going to teabag Zombie Elvis, don't mind me. But yes. Now to see if Tommy's learned to swim. Oh look, a jellyfish. Let's go hug it. Yay! Oh. Now if he was an Argonian, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs>